Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. I actually found an interesting little tidbit about Winscribe where potential IPs couldn't have leaked. So guys, basically on the Winscribe application, there was a period of kind of downtime where there was basically a two minute outage that forced people off of Winscribe. Now this might not sound like a big deal to you, and in some ways it might not be, but people who are using Winscribe at this time, maybe downloading torrents, maybe they left it on overnight, downloading torrents and stuff like that, they expected Winscribe to stay up, and if you had Winscribe up at this time and you were downloading torrents, Winscribe would have shut off and your IP could have leaked from anything you were downloading during that time. Now, Yegor replied on Winscribe's forum saying that they had a two minute outage between 9.47 and 9.49 p.m. Eastern saving time. Um, so that was seven days ago, so March 2nd. During this top period, people may have gotten logged out of the application. Sorry about that. We're implementing a solution so it won't happen again. And this was an edit, so I'll read this right here. The reason for this issue is that one of the four Redis instances we've run failed. Um, so the failover was triggered, which spins a failed instance on another machine. The instance starts empty and should not serve queries until it syncs fully. Due to a misconfiguration, it served queries to, during the two minute sync process. The data the application expected to be there wasn't there during this period. The issue was resolved, so this exact scenario won't happen again. We will evaluate this system, see how we further improve it to not cause issue in the other modes of failure. We will also rework the firewall in 2.0 to handle these issues in the client so there is protection on both sides. So this is obviously a highly technical kind of bug that caused this issue. It looks like they're trying to rework the firewall to prevent it from happening in the future. And I guess some of the issues apparently were resolved. He also made sure to edit the post saying, um, because a lot of people were very upset. Um, some people were saying like, hey, it doesn't look like you guys are taking this um, very seriously. Um, some people were saying this is another classic case of why you shouldn't rely on any VPN kill switches, in this case, Winscribe. And one thing about Winscribe that there, there's always kind of been a point of contention with me is I noticed that it didn't have that many kill switches. Um, some applications out there have application kill switches, network kill switches, and Winscribe only had some kind of firewall. So perhaps this is one reason why this happened. I can't say for certain though, because it's pretty technical and you kind of have to be a developer to understand how this stuff works. Perhaps that's a reason. It does look like they want to rework the firewall as well. And so he did say, um, we realize the gravity of the issue when the app thinks you're not actually logged in. You deleted all your sessions on the account itself. So we'll disable the firewall to not have the user get locked out as you'll know, have no way to toggle the firewall in this state. So it definitely seems to be related to this firewall. Perhaps in the future, Winscribe will implement some kill switches um, similar to other VPN providers or come up with a better solution. Um, we're gonna have to wait and see. Some people were talking about how there's a way to bind your Qubit Torn application to the network interface. And some people have it bound to Winscribe and tested it with Ubuntu Torrent. Um, so, and you can disconnect the Winscribe application that downloads stop. Um, this is also similar to how TorGuard's application network kill switch works. So perhaps Winscribe will implement something like that. Like I said, I always did think that Winscribe needed some other kind of application kill switches like this. I don't think the solution is configuring your torrent application to work with your VPN application. It should probably be the other way around. So some people said, did anyone have the firewall mode in the settings set to always on when this happened? Yup, yup, always. That's a big fail, Winscribe. Fortunately, I have a VPN router, so I had no problems. Just had the same thing happen on my MacBook and I'm pissed. I turned on my screen after being away for a number of hours only to discover uTorrent was already transferring up a storm with Winscribe having turned itself completely off, firewall included. So it looked like this guy's IP probably leaked during this time and if any copyright trolls were watching, um, he could be getting a letter from Comcast and a lot of other people had the same problem. It's kind of funny to see so many people coming here and saying that they had the same problem when in fact it was really only a period of around two minutes. So guys, in some ways this isn't a big deal, but it does lead to interesting kind of speculation on was anyone's IPs leaked? You know, how will Winscribe fix their firewall in the future? Could there be perhaps any more implementation of various kill switches to prevent leaks like this from happening? Winscribe disconnects, making sure, you know, your other um, applications connect could be cool with application kill switch. However, it's kind of up to Winscribe to decide for this one. They are the developers and they probably know what's best for application as well as the users. So I'll let them decide that one. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this little new scoop on Winscribe and I'll see you again very soon.